Hello, everyone. So previously, we have seen what is red blood, correct? And we also know what is resistance and what is Ohm's law. So today we will see resistors configuration. And I hope each and every one of you learn how to know the resistance of carbon coated resistor. So today we are gonna see the resistance con resistors configuration. So there could be two configurations. Number one is series and number two is parallel. So we will see both of them. Okay. Now let's quickly jump on to the two. That two name is thinker cat. Okay. So there we will do these simulations. There we will do these simulations. So I opened up this page in thinker cat. For an example, if you don't know this tool, what you can simply do, you can go to this website thinkercat.com. In that, you will get an option. So let me do it. Again. So I will go to this website like this. So here I need I have the option to create. So I will select the circuit. So here is my page to create the circuit. So first thing I will select is breadboard. So now we are already aware of breadboard. So I'm not going to explain you. So to quickly remind you, as you can see, this entire flow is connected. See, it's all come under the same green line. That means it is connected. And this entire columns are also connected. So we are today we are gonna see the resistance resistors configurations. So resistor can be on series or parallel. So let's explore first series configuration. Let's then explore series configuration. So let me just quickly whatever component you need, you just need to search. I need resistor, correct? If I just type RES, I got this resistor. Okay, I got my resistor. Here I can set the value. So right now it is one kilo. Also, we can check it using carbon force. It is brown. Brown means one, correct? Brown means one after that i have black black is zero what is the multiplier multiplier here is red that is the 10 to the power of three 10 to the power of two my bad so the value of this resistor is one kilo ohms okay so right now this configuration is perfectly wrong the reason being, we know this entire column is sorted, connected. If I connect my resistor like this, this means this terminal is connected to this terminal. This will cause a short circuit. So what I will do, I will rotate it like this. Now it is correct. So another device, what we use to measure the resistance of the resistor is multimeter okay so right now i am using it to measure the resistance so let me connect 
one terminal to here like this i can connect here also because entire that column is sorted and this to here and now if i hit on simulate then you can see i am getting the one kilo ohm resistance so now to see the resistance in series how it behaves so what i will do i will just remove this terminal for now i will bring one more resistor so let's name it resistor 2 only i will rotate it okay now i will just connect this correct this entire row is sorted that means this terminal and this terminal is now sorted or connected so let's measure the resistance now in between these two see i use the terminal one of first resistor and i use the terminal two of second resistor so now let's see here it is coming the two kilometers hmm. correct we connected both the resistors in series and resistance are adding up the net resistance are adding up let me try to connect one more resistor to check my thesis correct so let's add one more resistance resistor here like this let's connect this terminal to here now it is coming the 3 kilo and each of these resistors are on 1 kilo mm. so when i connect the resistors in series the net resistance of the resistor is equal to sum of the all the resistance of each resistor so what does it do let me explain it so it means that the total resistance between this terminal and this terminal is equal to sum of all the resistors between this that means if i say r net is total resistance then this will be equal to r1 resistance of first resistor r2 plus r3 great now this point is clear i hope now let's see resistors in parallel so let me quickly remove this terminal and this terminal also let's clear in the resistors i'll put it here i'll put it here and let's connect this terminal here and this terminal here okay now let's simulate hmm we are right this both the resistors are of one kilo ohm but i am getting the net resistance of 500 ohms okay that means resistance are decreased hmm. but i don't know how but it is decreased this is the observation now let's connect other resistor also in parallel this terminal to here this terminal to here now let's simulate okay 
it decreased even more. So one first when there was only one resistor, when there was only one resistor, R1 net resistor was R1 that is one kilogram. Correct. When I connected R1 and R2 in parallel, at that time I have 4500 volts. That means I got 1 kilo ohm by 2. When I connected R1, R2, R3, all of this in parallel, at that case I got 330 ohm. This means it is equal to 1 kilo ohm, that is the 1000 ohm, divided by 3. So, if I add one more resistor to the candle, so I will get 1 kilo ohm by 4, correct? So, as many resistance I am adding, so I am getting something like 1 kilo ohm by N in case if I have N resistor in that. So right now I have 3 resistors, therefore 1 kilo ohm by 3. Okay. Now it is making sense. Correct. We can see one pattern here. So I will not explain you the entire derivation and proof how the current will divide and everything. So let me just give you the formula. So here, 1 by R net, that is the total resistance, is equal to 1 by R1 plus 1 by R2 plus 1 by R3 plus 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 so on. Okay. So now let's see. Let's do our simulation for uh, three resistors. Okay. So one by R net will be equal to one by one kilo ohm. Correct. R1 is one kilo ohm. Plus one by one kilo ohm. Plus one by one kilo ohm. Okay. So one by R net will be equal to 1 kilo ohm is equal to 1000, correct? So let's solve first this part, okay? So 1 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm into 1 kilo ohm. So simple LC, not, a, not any rocket science. Plus 1 by 1 kilo ohm is and it is. So now let's see here above. So let's solve this part. So it will be equal to 2 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm into 1 kilo plus 1 by 1 kilo ohm is as it is. So, this kilo ohm, this kilo ohm get cancelled. So, it will be equal to 2 by 1 kilo ohm. And here it will be 1 by 1 kilo ohm. Now, let's solve this two. So 2 into 1 kilo ohm plus 1 kilo ohm divided by 1 kilo ohm into 1 kilo ohm. So how much this will? This will be 3 by 1 kilo ohm. So at the end, 
what I got, I got 1 by R net is equal to 3 by 1 kilo ohm. So let's take the reverse. Then R net will be is equal to 1 kilo ohm divided by 3. That is equal to 1000 ohms divided by 3. That will be equal to 33.33.33. So in potentiometer, this 33 get neglected. So this is my answer. So I hope now you understood how to configure your resistance in series and patterns. And what will be the net resistance? After the configuring your resistors in series or pattern. So that's it for today's video. See you in the next video. Till then. Bye.